hey you guys hey girl hey what is up it is your girl Tosh and welcome back to my channel so for today's video you guys I have something I feel is a little bit exciting I'm gonna be getting into a brand new release which is the Artemis palette by Alter Ego as well as playing with a new foundation which is the BYS glass glow foundation I have all of the elf mini face duos except for one and I think new concealer by Essence. So if you're interested in seeing how all of these new products perform and as well as me doing a couple of looks with the Ar Artemis palette, then just keep watching. All right, you guys, so first thing is first, I'm gonna have Nick insert some swatches here. Okay, so those are all of the shades in this beautiful new palette by Alter Ego Swatched. Now, I have not seen any other um, videos on this palette because, of course, I don't want my opinion to be kind of, like, swayed in a way by watching them. So, I did get mine in a couple of days ago. I'm just now getting up to film with it. First look we are going to do... Um, is going to be of a more natural kind of look or a more appropriate daytime wear look because I do have an appointment today so I don't want to get like too crazy but you guys can we say hello gorgeous so just in case you guys don't know this is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette which is $129 no ma'am <laughs> so Alter Eagle launched this one you can get this for $22 on their website and it has 28 shadows. Now, it does have the names on the back as well as in the palette, a nice big mirror. And you guys, I gotta say, this one has some weight to it as opposed to the other ones. Now, as far as the formulas, do they match the Natasha Denona formulas? In my opinion, so far from just swatching alone and feeling them in my fingers, I can feel in the mattes that they really I think they really did a great job of creating her cream formula. It's like a cream matte formula that she puts in her other palettes and it's just beautiful. In my opinion, they can be a little bit difficult to work with if you are a beginner or you're new to her formula. Um, but if you just do a little bit at a time and really take your time with them, I really think that even beginners would be able to work with these. What I love is that there's so many different color combos. If you go across, if you go and put it in quads, you know, there's just so many beautiful looks that you could do with a large palette like this. And at $22 versus $129. Girl, I think Alter Ego might have killed it, but before I prejudge, let's go ahead and get into the first look. All right, now that I have you guys up close and personal, I'm just going to go ahead and start off with this shade called Hunt and Entice. These two shades here in my crease. Now, if you've ever worked with the Alter Ego shadows before, you do know there's a little bit of kick up in the pan. This one's not a super ton, so ain't mad at it. Okay, nice pigmentation on the eyes. It's not like bam in your face. So I did uh, prime my eyes with my Revolution Eye Primer in Central. And then I set them with my Maybelline Shadow in Linen. So I'm just adding a little bit of that color in Tice. I will show it to you in just a second. So far, I really like that. So I went in. Oh, you guys, I just knit one of my shadows with my fingernails. My nails are like really long right now. <laughs> Anywho, so I mixed this shade here with Entice, and then I added a little bit of Entice by itself. Now I'm going to go in and add this color Trap, which is right here. It's like this deeper orange shade. I'm just going to take that in with a wrong brush. <laughs> this Morphe M443. This is kind of good to go and add color to the crease, in my opinion. So this is one of her cream shadows. Well, not her cream shadows, but a cream formula similar to her shadows. And I'm just going to do this to create a little bit of depth. Nothing too crazy. Again, I do have an appointment today, so I don't want to go in looking all cray-cray. Or like I'm late to the club, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
just gonna take the same brush with nothing on it here and just make sure I blend everything together. Let me know in the comments if you have picked this palette up, if you are going to. Now you guys know when you order from them, you have to spend 25 to get free shipping. So I did finally pick up their Daydream palette. Even though I had the beauty glazed version of it, I just, it was good, but it was missing something. And I have loved all of Alter Ego's palettes thus far. So I thought, you know what, why not pick that one up? We'll get rid of the beauty glazed and I'm sure I'll be happy with it. All right. So now I'm gonna add some sort of brown. I'm thinking of going in with this shade called Quiver right here. It is another one of those cream formulas. And I'm just gonna add that to my outer V. Not much kickback from that one and dusting it off. You guys, I feel so out of the loop. I've not done my makeup since Gosh, like the 29th of last month, I think, 28th, something like that. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. I have not filmed anything since then. I have been missing you guys like crazy. It's good to be back. I really like this. I just feel like it's missing a little something. So what I'm going to do is I'm color switching this same brush right here. I'm going to make sure there's nothing on it. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of Hunt, the shade right here. And I'm going to put that just above everything else that I did in my crease. Just to blend it out and to kind of, because I feel like all the shades are blending together. But I think that's more so my fault because of the shades that I used. Because these are blending so nicely. Like everything just blends like perfect. Oh, I love these. I'm going to go back into trap and just deepen up that crease part a little bit more. Like the deeper part. Just a little moss. Taking that same brush. The birdies are singing this morning. <laughs> it's kind of giving me that natural vibe that I'm really into lately. So I think I'm going to go into the shade Ravage, which is right here. It's this guy right here. It's so hard to choose, you guys. They're all so beautiful. I don't know if that's the one I want yet. This is Ravage, which you guys have already seen swatches. Or maybe Catch. I feel like I've been doing a lot of gold looks lately, but it is the season. <laughs> so here's Catch. I think I'm going to use this one. Just taking that on a old BH Cosmetics flat brush. And I'm going to start out with nothing on the brush besides the shadow. Like I'm not going to spray it or anything. And we're going to see how good she is. Not bad. You guys are going to hear my phone go off. I think Nicholas is awake. I probably woke him up. He's right below me. There he is. <laughs> You guys know I go up a little bit because I do have um, some hooded eyes here. And if I don't, when I'm like opening my eyes, you won't be able to see my shadow is good. So it looks good in my opinion without anything at it. But I'm just going to go in with my finger because we'll look at that. And I really want, oh yeah, that's what I was looking for. That total color payoff. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also did pick up a one of the e.l.f. Um, oil, the oil facial mist. We'll try that out today, too. And then, I do have some other stuff, but I'm saving that for a full face of e.l.f. Because I think it's been a while since I did one. <clears throat> so this brush has nothing on it, just to be sure. There we go. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of quiver on the outer V here. Excuse me guys, Bubba's getting sick. Bubba's back. He's okay. <laughs> Sometimes he gets an upset tummy where I have to give him like antacid medication. And he's had it ever since he was a little puppy. Um, or actually I'd say about two. So to me still a puppy. <laughs> it's my baby. But yeah, he just gets an upset tummy and... He's been having to take that since he was like two, like I said, and it really does help with his tummy. 
Okay, so now that Bubba's okay, um, I'm going to go into the shade Lore, which is right here. And I'm just going to take a little bit of it and put it like right here in the outer V. Not too much, just a tiny bit. Now this also is one of the cream formulas, like the cream matte formula. So, there we go. What you doing, Bubba Boo? He's being nosy. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to bring that lure right up here because I feel like, yes, that looks better to me. Sometimes I feel like I cannot get that shade blended in with my shimmer shade, if that makes sense. I think I'm going to leave it alone before I do, I go overboard and do too much. <laughs> So I'm going to go off camera really quickly and do this eye. When I come back, we are going to try out the Essence High Beauty uh, Dark or Peach Beige Under Eye Corrector. And then we're going to get into this foundation. I'm so excited to use this on camera with you guys um, because I've been loving it so far. All right, you guys, really quickly before we move on to the Essence High Beauty under eye brightening concealer. You guys already know the drill with the coldest. I just want to say this portion of the video is sponsored by, you guessed it, the coldest. They do carry insulated water bottles that will keep your water cold up to 36 hours, and in my case, almost 48 hours, which is why I use my bottle each and every day since being sent the bottle, and not just because they sent it to me. You guys already know the drill with that. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. In this case, I do love my water bottle. Nick can attest to it that I've been using it literally every day since receiving it. You can purchase one for yourself too as well. They come in kid sizes from 12 ounces all the way up to adult sizes in a gallon size. So you can check out the link below and use the code TASHA to save some money off and back to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> All right, guys, quickly, Essence High Beauty with hemp seed oil. It's moisturizing, Karen, and vegan. This is their under eye brightening concealer. Again, I did pick mine up in peach beige. The back of it says brightening under eye cream concealer. The Karen and moisturizing texture with a buildable coverage results in an optical anti-puff effect and a refreshed finish for tired looking skin. Again, it has hemp seed oil in it. I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer so that you can see all of my under eye bags <laughs> and see how this works. Hey girl, hey. So I've been up since four o'clock this morning, actually a little bit before then. So yeah, I did not sleep last night. So we're going to put this bad boy to the test and see if it works. So this is a one dip into the container. I'm going to let it kind of sit there for a second. And then I'm actually going to use my new Flawless Concealer Brush from e.l.f. You guys know this is a ride or die for me. This is just a new brush because, well, you got to have backup. So this is what I recommend for the most coverage. Now that's why I'm going to try it out with this. And on the other side, I will use a sponge. I've also been noticing a lot of darkness in my inner corner here, so I've been concealing there as well. So I'm just kind of trying to put a little bit there. Didn't do the greatest job, but it's all good. I'm going to go in with a AOA sponge. So it's pretty much a given <laughs> that if you want the most coverage, a brush is the way to go. Or you could even tap in with the good old fingers. I'm going to try building this up. So I'm going to use quite a bit. It's a very thin formula, like that kind of barely there vibe. And I'm going to use a brush on both sides. So I do like how it is kind of giving me that peachy vibe underneath. And it probably looks a little ashy and bright right now, but I am going to go over this with concealer. But I do feel like if I use a brush with it so far on this side, it's kind of counteracting those dark circles. I just hope it doesn't cake or crease. All right, y'all. I'm going to take Bubba Boo out, feed the chickaroos, and check on my goats because he's ready to go. And we will come back and see what this looks like. All right, all right, all right. So it dried down, and I do like that it has seemed to mask my, my black under eyes purple black whatever <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the foundation now just to let you guys know 
This is a super affordable foundation from BYS, which is, they originate out of Australia. You can find them at some of your local Dollar General stores, mostly Family Dollar. Now in my area, they do not have a large variety of stuff, which is why I went to the BYS website, ordered a full-ish face of products. It didn't take too long to get here seeing as how we are in a pandemic still. So mine is in natural beige and it is a perfect shade match for me. And it's a very beautiful foundation. It's called the BYS Glass Glow Luminous Foundation. And you do get 1.1 full ounces as well as a pump. And I just pumped out like a one and a half pump so far and we're just gonna go in with my Equal Tool sponge and apply it to my face. Now I have already primed previously to even doing my eyeshadow. You guys, just an FYI, this foundation has been so long wearing on me and I've been wearing it for a little over a month off and on when I have worn makeup and I love it. It's dewy but not too dewy where it makes you like look greasy or anything and I just cannot get over the price which, of course, I will link it down below for you guys. And when I say that, I don't generally link the price tags. I give you guys links that will take you directly to the product. FYI, some of those are affiliate links, which means each time you click on it, it helps support my channel. Um, and I do appreciate those of you who have been using my links. It truly means a lot, especially in a time where, um, you know, the pandemic has really cost a lot of us money <laughs> we'll just say what it is so I really do appreciate you guys because every little bit helps so thank you so so much for supporting my channel and using links that I leave down there I appreciate you now I just recorded not too long ago a haul video for you guys and as soon as I recorded it my last couple of packages came in so I do want to let you guys know because you should see this video right after that haul goes up today, which today is Wednesday the 5th, I believe. Um, I did get the ColourPop, what is it, Wild Nothing? Whoop! <laughs> yeah, the ColourPop Wild Nothing palette, so let me know when you guys want to see that. I also did pick up some more e.l.f. stuff. Um, well, I think that was already in the haul, I'm so sorry. And then I already told you guys about the other palette that I picked up when I picked up the Artemis palette. And the only reason I did that again was because, well, two reasons, free shipping over 25 and gosh, you guys, this foundation is so pretty. Free shipping over 25 and um, the Beauty Glaze one that I have that's kind of like the Huda Beauty one is not as pretty as the alter ego one in my opinion so that and now I have all their palettes and their palettes are the bomb I'm gonna go finish my concealer because I do not have a new one to show you everything that I use on my face off camera will be listed down below and I will be right back when it is time to show you guys swatches and show you guys me using these bite-sized face duos from elf I'll be right back Y'all, sometimes I am just not awake. Okay, I did want to use this on camera with you guys. This is the Zoeva Authentic, I think it's the Authentic Skin Finishing Powder in the shade Remarkable. And it just comes in a container like this with a sifter. And what I love about it is it has this little piece here that will not allow the powder to get all over. So I have been really enjoying this powder in that it literally, I feel like, just sinks in to the skin without looking like you're wearing powder. And if it does give you the powder effect because you may have used too much, once you spray your face with your setting spray, it completely goes away. So super, super pretty. I just dip mine in with my brush and then make sure I dust off all of the excess. It's gonna go everywhere as you guys can see. It is super finely milled, which I love in a powder because then I feel like that's what really keeps it from looking like powder is it being that finely milled. Now I'm not wearing this shirt today when I go out. <laughs> I just didn't want to film in my PJs again. <laughs> oh, you guys, this powder is so bomb. So bomb. 
I love it. So now we are going to get into the e.l.f. Face Duo in the shade Coconut because I know I'm looking like a ghost. But we're not going to look like that for long, y'all. So I did pick up the bronzer shade, which is in Coconut. So it comes with a bronzer and a highlighter. Now I have not swatched these yet. All I have literally done was peeled the seal so that I could share these with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one on camera with you guys. And then I will insert swatches of the other six. Now there is one shade that I did not pick up. There's a total of eight of these. And it's because it was a shade that I knew I would never wear. So I think I'm going to try out the shade. I think I'm going to try out the shade Watermelon. So I will swatch both of those live for you. So here is the Coconut. This is the bronzer. Kind of pretty. It looks like it is red toned. So liking that. Here is the highlighter. Now each and every one of these comes with a highlight shade in it. Which I saw a lot of people were not really the biggest fan of that. And I could see where it would feel like a waste of money. Some of them do appear like they come with the same highlighter which you guys will see in swatches. Um, I, I really don't know because I haven't really looked at them that closely. But, you know, there's always going to be somebody that's not happy, unfortunately. Um, I thought it was a great idea. Now, they could have done, like, a bronzer and blush duos or bronzer and um, highlight duos. It just, I think it's really cool. And for the price, to me, you're getting a decent amount of product. These are only $3, just like the eye duos. The bite size face duo, or yeah, the bite size eye duos. Duh. <laughs> In my defense, I have not finished my coffee yet this morning. <laughs> I've only had a half of an iced coffee. So as you guys can see, this bronzer is pretty red toned, which it could almost be a blush, um, but I don't mind it. I think it's really pretty. I'm still going to apply me some blush. But I think it's a pretty bronze shade. I really do. I don't know how deep of a skin tones it's going to work for. Um, which is a bummer. I really wish that they maybe would have came out with two of the bronzer shades. You know, one for light to medium and one for, you know, deep specifically. Or, you know, medium to deep skin tones. I'm actually going to go around my whole face with the bronzer. But yeah, I mean, I think it's really pretty. I just, you know, I'm pretty fair right now for being mixed. Um, I have not been out in the sun a lot this summer. So this is not very dark. So I would say if you're, you know, a couple shades deeper than me, you're probably not going to be able to wear this, which, again, is a bummer. Um, but don't have to go with elf you could totally switch over to makeup revolution you guys they are killing it with deep shade bronzers for super deep skin tones from their i think it's eight to ten dollar bronzer to the twelve dollar bronzers that they came out with makeup revolution got you boo you guys have to go check those out if you have not seen the makeup revolution um products that I'm talking about. I'm going to link the video here so that you'll know when you go to the website which ones to look for. Not the best bronzer to contour with. <laughs> oh well. It's not that bad. It ain't that bad. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and insert some swatches of all of the blushes here and then we're going to apply watermelon. Alright guys, so these first three here starting from top to bottom, well here we'll do top to bottom, is Spiced Apple, and then we have Leech, or Leche here, and then White Peach right here, which is actually pretty. Like, I did not think I was going to like this by looking at it in the compact, but it's super pretty. All right, let's get the next three shades, and then we're going to apply Watermelon to my face. So I will not be swatching Watermelon, just FYI. All right, so from top to bottom again, we have a Pomegranate and then Gava. And these are the blushes, then the highlighters, if I didn't say that. And then we have Coconut, which is that bronzer. 
So I'm going to use the watermelon blush on my face, which I have not swatched. And then I think I'm going to go with this highlighter because look at it, you guys. It's so pretty. And it just looks more of like a daytime highlighter. So I'm going to do that. Here is the watermelon duo. And the reason I'm not going to apply the highlighter is because to me it, it just, well, I mean, I could have. Here's the watermelon highlight. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. That's really pretty. <laughs> I really like that. So the reason that I bought all of these is because I've been trying to like kind of up my blush game, if you will, and just get some different colors. And all of these were colors that I thought I would wear, except for the one that I didn't get, which was like, I want to say like a hot pink, and that's just not my vibe. So I, <laughs> I didn't get it. I think I am going to try out this highlighter in the watermelon palette. I still have all of my brushes over to the side to film my favorite brushes for you guys. And I tell you guys, I just got a little behind, you know, with what happened with wit and, you know, some other things that have been going on. As Jeffree Star would say, behind the scenes. Girl, stop. <laughs> no, but seriously, I just kind of got behind on filming, so. Ooh. Elf. Y'all, these blushes and highlights are just as pigmented as the eye duos. Like, if I had to guess, I would say they're like the same formula. I'm here for it. Y'all see that? Hey. Hey to watermelon. <laughs> Have you guys picked up any of these little face duos? If you did, let me know what shade you got. Let me know if you're loving it. Now, I did spray this on my face. I thought the camera was on before I put my makeup on, after I applied my primers. But since the camera was not on, we're going to go ahead and spray it again before I finish my under eyes. Very nice mist. I'd, hopefully you guys can see that. It just kind of sprays like this. And this one is the Energizing Infused with Citrus Oil. So it has a really nice citrus scent without being super overpowering. Um, I wanted to read you guys what it said on the box. These are 5 or $10. I can't remember. But you do get, how many ounces is this? So this is 2 ounces and it is a facial oil mist. But if you guys look at it, I mean it doesn't look real oily there in the container. Um, so yeah, and I believe the containers are the different colors, not the actual liquid. It looks like the container is yellow. Anywho, it doesn't feel oily on the skin. It just feels really refreshing, like a nice setting spray, essentially. Um, but this one says, energize your skin and mood with the citrus oil facial mist. Infused with white tea extract known to assist in revitalizing the skin, while the citrus oil aroma gives your mood a boost of energy. And then it says directions. Need a boost? Mist on a face throughout the day as needed. So you can spray this over makeup. You can use this as part of your skincare regimen. It is all about what you want to do. And if you're looking for something to kind of, you know, give you like a boost and refresh yourself, throw these in the refrigerator. Or if you have a beauty refrigerator in your beauty room, whichever, and these feel so so nice when you just need to cool down so I don't think I need to set my face with actual like setting spray today so I'm just gonna remist my face with this one more time and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish my under eyes so all I'm gonna do is use the shade trap from the Artemis palette. Look at my mess y'all, look at that. <laughs> so trap and then I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Quiver. Just gonna throw those on the under eye, throw on some eyeliner and we're gonna talk about some of this stuff. So based off of first impressions so far, I'm gonna tell you that I am enjoying this Artemis palette. It's really, really good so far, but we are going to do another look later this afternoon when I get home or later this evening, and then I will wrap up and give you guys my final thoughts because it is super early in the morning right now, y'all, and I applied this at like almost six something this morning, so by the time I remove this, I'll have an idea of how it wears before I do the second look. 
Alright y'all, I do not have a new lip product or mascara or eyeliner to show you. So when I come back, I will wrap it up, show you guys the final look. And then in a little bit later, we will get into look number two, which will be more than eight hours later. So it is eight, let's see, it's 8.24 now. So I will be back around five something this evening or something like that. I don't know. We have um, jo or Nick's brother coming over for dinner tonight. So um, I'm not sure what time I'll be back, but it will be more than eight hours later. So then I'll kind of give you guys an overall view of what everything looks like, how this wore. Um, I will be out in a little bit of heat today as well. Plus I'm vlogging today on my other camera. So yeah, um, I am going to do another look though. I think we're going to get into something like I don't know in this blue green range you guys I am really like dying to play with this color here it is called pursuit and it's just this really beautiful like creamy green I mean can we just appreciate that so beautiful oh, you guys look at that so beautiful okay I'm gonna stop rambling and I'll be right back all right you guys so this is my final look number one of course I'm not the best poser, you guys already know that. But anyway, all I did was added my favorite mascara of the moment, which is the um, Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. A little bit of eyeliner, brown eyeliner, of course, you guys know it's my fave. I added a nude lip liner and then just this Maybelline lip gloss on top, which is, I think, the Summer McKean lip gloss and it is in tan line. Um, again, everything that I used um, in my looks will be linked down below. I'm going to go ahead and go on about my day, and then a little bit later this evening, we'll get into look number two, and I will tell you guys what I think about this eyeshadow. Also, be on the lookout for an upcoming vlog. I'm going to be vlogging quite a bit now that I have another camera to do so. You guys know that I have been wanting to vlog since the beginning of my channel, and I'm so, so happy that I get to share it with you. <laughs> I'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, you guys. So I am back home. It is now 6.15. So I've had this makeup on for quite a few hours, more than eight at this point, what, almost nine. Um, so I just want to kind of bring you guys in and let you see what the eyes look like and how they wore throughout the day. It was sort of warm in certain times of the day and then being in a few cramped smaller spaces, if you will, um, in the place that I had to go for my appointment. Um, so yeah, I just want to show you guys how it wore. We will get into look two. Don't mind my get up. As soon as I get home, you guys, I have been living in these little nightgowns from um where are they from they're called secret treasures you can find them at walmart and they are so comfortable and they actually say a nightgown slash dress on them so i'm just always lounging in them when i'm at home it's just my favorite way to be comfy so i was like i'm just gonna pop in and show them what the eyes look like so if you guys hear any background noise my soon-to-be brother-in-law is here we're having dinner we are social distancing by the way and y'all know how it is when men to get to get get together they are worse than women they be cackling like some hands so <laughs> anywho i'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys in and let you see the eyes so hopefully you guys can see everything okay be quite honest I think everything wore very very well the only thing I really reapplied to my face today was my lip color my lip liner and lip color and because you guys know that's always gonna wear off so um, I also did powder because for some reason I find myself getting oily throughout the day I don't know if it's like a whole winter vibe or what also, I did want to let you guys know um, really quickly, I am really liking this so far. It really takes on that entire powder look that you get on your face. Even though this product right here by Zoeva doesn't really give you that, um, the under eye powder that I used on my under eyes today kind of did, and this completely took it away. Like, it didn't even look like I set my face with powder. So, if you guys were interested in these little e.l.f. Uh, facial oil mists, they're really, really, really good. Let's get on to look number two. All right, you guys, it is time for look numero dos. And yes, I'm filming these in the same day because I know that if I don't, 
then it's just going to be like, am I going to get it done tomorrow? No, because I could be filming another video tomorrow. So I just feel like let's go on and do it. So let's do it. I'm kind of wanting to dabble around, like I said before, with this green shade called Pursuit, which is just absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness. Hello. <laughs> like, I cannot believe this is a $22 palette. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to kind of try to walk you guys through what I'm doing just to make it more like tutorial-ish. And if you guys are curious about the blush I'm wearing, I tried out the shade Leche this time. So really, really pretty. I just thought that that would probably go with green. So let's just do it. So I'm just taking my favorite blending brush of the moment, which is by Delium. I'll link Delium tools down below. They're kind of pricey, but so worth it. So I did touch up my face. You guys know I wear glasses, so it's kind of messed up around here. And I've had this makeup on now for 12 hours. No, 13 and a half hours. It's 9.30. So <laughs> um, I'm going to go in with the shade Entice. Just to start out, as kind of like a transition. Hoping you guys are in far enough so you can see everything. I really like this shade. It's like the perfect transition shade for so many skin tones in my opinion. This time I did prime with concealer and I used the Milani um, Conceal and Perfect. And I set that with the Maybelline shade Linen. I had to think about what it was called. So on my brow bone, I'm actually going to go in with a little bit more of that shade just on the top to uh, blend in the shade Entice. Because if you guys look in here, there's not really a super light matte shade that you could use to blend out. I mean, I guess I could use the shade Hunt, but I'm kind of not going for that mustardy vibe up there. So I'm going to try something else. Actually, that would look really cute in the deep crease. Let's do that. That would look bomb with that green. So I'm actually, if you have hooded eyes, you'll notice that I'm going a little bit higher because I do have hooded eyes. So when I'm looking straight on, I want to be able to see that mustard shade peek out. So, I mean, if you can do it, try to do this with your eyes open. It just really helps so that you'll be able to see that color. Otherwise, if you do it with your eyes closed, which is what I normally do, that's why I can't see that other color. So you just want it on that, I think it's called the orbital bone. <laughs> Just taking that brush again with nothing on it and I'm just going to blend above. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my Maybelline Linen just with another um, crease brush and I'm just going to take a, a little bit. You only need a little bit of the shade, just a little bit. And then I'm going to blend right here, right underneath the brow. Because that mustard shade is really pretty. I'm going to go in with a dry brush to start off and pack on the shade Pursuit, which is the one I swatched for you guys right here. And then if I think that I need to go in with a wet brush, we'll go in with a wet brush. So I'm just taking this Alomar brush right here. It's nice to pack shadows on the lid. The shade is so pretty and so creamy, you guys. Ugh, so pretty. So I will say, if you guys can see this, you don't need to wet the brush, but I want it to be like that va va voom super intensity. So I am going to wet the brush so that we can really see what the shadow will do. And I'm just going to use that e.l.f. Facial Oil Mist because it's not super oily, so it should be fine. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty, you guys. So pretty. I think this might seriously be my favorite shade in the entire palette. Oh my gosh. I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer and show you something here. So if you can see right here, I do have quite a bit of fallout. That is using the shimmer shades completely dry, I've noticed. If you don't use them completely dry, you won't have this problem. So you just want to kind of take a super fluffy brush and just kind of wipe away. We can fix that later, so I'm not too worried about it. And it's the end of the night, I'm not going anywhere, so it's not really that big a deal, but if you were, you could totally fix it. But I recommend using these wet if you have your face makeup done already. That way you don't have that problem. So all I'm gonna do now is take this shade called Ambush, which is like a very, very, very deep green in the palette. Like, 
like on glance or what I can't even think of the word I'm trying to say but it almost looks black but it's a super dark hunter green kind of which you guys will see in a second here I need a better brush I'm gonna take this little guy right here maybe maybe a pencil brush <laughs> I need something really packed like this guy oh yeah that should work so this shade is one of those matte shades that's pretty creamy, so it's easier to work with if you pack it, in my opinion. I was actually hoping this was a little bit darker, so I might mix this with something else. It's not as dark as I had hoped it would be. It's a really pretty color, I think you guys can see that, but I was really hoping that it was much darker, so I think I'm going to also go in with this kind of brown shade right here and just kind of mix them almost but like on the outer outer edge right here it'd be brown i really wish i had a black in here that would really make this pop are we ever really satisfied i mean i could have a black in here and then i'd want a white shade you know i mean it's just the way it goes sometimes so this is going to be pretty smoky ish if you will so now I'm just going to take another crease brush. I'm going to go back into the shade Hunt, which is kind of that mustardy shade. And I want to blend some of this out right here because I did not want that up that high. But just disclaimer, I'm not a makeup artist. So um, mine are not perfect. I can't get that perfect. I could have did a cut crease, but I really, really didn't want to. So I have some greenage right here. Let's see, what can we put in there? I'm going in with an orange shade called Captivate. Don't know if this will help. We're going to find out. <laughs> so what I'm noticing that's happening is I went up a little too far with the green, which was my bad. And some of it is going up in the crease here where I didn't want it. So I'm going to try to take just a plain fluffy brush that is clean. And just do some extra blending, hopefully, it will help that. If I can't fix it, it's not that big of a deal to me. That's a little bit better, but I really recommend cutting the crease for that. Um, yeah, I would definitely cut the crease. Actually, I'm going to start over. <laughs> and we're trying this again. <laughs> So all I did was redid some stuff here, you know, covered this up or what have you, and I um, <clears throat> reset that eye, set it with powder. I'm actually going to put some powder down to catch fallout, which I normally don't like to do, but sometimes we must do things that we don't want to do. So I'm doing that, and... I went ahead and already used my shade for my crease. So we're just going to build from there. I used the shade Hunt, which is this mustard shade. And I'm actually going to take another brush and start building it after I clean it off. Actually, I don't need that brush. So I'm just going to take this cute little one from AOA Studio. Going back into the shade Hunt, which again is the mustard shade right here. And I'm just going to stick that right here into the deep crease and build it a little bit because I'm going to cut the crease. And hopefully I can make this work. <laughs> so I left that in there to show you guys. I'm not perfect either. I make mistakes all the time. It's just usually when I restart over, you guys don't see it because it's cut out. Um, sometimes I will tell you like, hey, I had to start over. I mean, if I start over, I try to tell you guys. But I think it's important to leave it in there sometimes as well, just to show you guys that, you know, I make mistakes all the time when I'm doing my makeup or, you know, sometimes I'll do a look and I'm like, I hate it. <laughs> so, you know, so I'm just going to kind of blend that a little bit better and kind of blow it out, if you will, a little bit more so it's not so harsh. Of course, you don't want harsh edges. I just love this color. I just think it is so pretty. Sorry if you guys couldn't see it there. I think I might just leave that. We're going to find something to put on the outer V. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go in with Quiver, which I used in the last look, and also Lure. 
And I'm gonna see what I can do with that on the outer V here. And I'm just gonna take this little kind of flat brush here. I think this is from the AOA Foam Ink line. Those are really, really nice brushes, by the way. I'm just putting this on the outer V. And because these are that cream, if you don't press it to build, I think you're gonna really have to build the color up, in my opinion. I don't really have that much experience working with her cream shades. Other than, you know, the two that I have worked with in this palette. And they're not exactly the same. They're pretty identical, though. And then the cream shades that I've worked with in the bronze palette. Which, there's only two. <laughs> I think I'm liking that a lot better already. And I'm just really taking in that shade Lore. And really building it up. I really like that. I really think a black would have been good in this palette. I don't know why she don't have a black in her palette. And I know why Alter Ego didn't put one in there, because they were trying to mimic her palette. <laughs> so I like that so far, so I'm just going to take my ring finger here. We're going to go back in with our beautiful green here. Try to minimize the fallout. I was going to cut my crease, y'all. It's all good. It's getting late and your girl's getting tired and I'm getting goofy. Do you guys see that? How I just spread that color like that? I mean, you could build this up, but you really don't need to. It's so pigmented and so beautiful. So I'm just taking my flat shader brush. I'm going to try to use what is left on the brush here just to kind of go up here a bit. And I'm not going to go all the way up like I normally do. Just trying to make it even. Y'all, yeah, I would love to know how people get these perfect up here in the crease on their lid so that it doesn't look, you know, tacky in a way. You know what I mean? So that it like looks perfect. Hmm. I'm going to take a little bit of this shade called Thrill and add that to my outer V here. I think that that one's actually blending into the green better than the brown shade. Hmm. Taking a pencil brush and I'm gonna clean it off. I'm gonna add more of the shade Thrill, which is that really pretty brown one. And I'm just trying to get this to blend into the green a little bit better because the brown shades were just not and it could be me, it could be user error from working with these like cream shades. It may take me a while to get used to them. Now I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and clean this off. And I'm gonna kind of blend some of this out a little bit because I want like this part out, like not super like blown out, but just a little bit. I'm gonna be honest, you guys. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> And that's what makes it so fun. Do you guys see like right here how there's kind of something missing almost? So I'm just going to go into this guy here. I'm going back into Hunt. And I'm going to kind of try to deepen that portion up so that it doesn't look like there's a gap in there. I'm hoping that that looks okay. Because I feel like when you look down, it almost looks like it's not even or there's a gap. I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye. I'm going to come back. We're going to talk about the palette and the face duos, the face oil, and the foundation. Okay, so <laughs> it's not my best look, um, but I do still kind of like it. I think it turned out like semi-pretty, if you will. Um, I'm very dry on the under eye, but until I get done with the bottom lash line here, I'm not going to worry about the rest of the face. So you guys come back in here and I'm going to go under the bottom lash line with the shade Stealth and I want to show you guys this really quickly. I don't know if you can see that, but after you rub your finger in these cream shades because they are so creamy, I feel like they kind of get a little hard and I've had that happen with other palettes before, but hopefully you can see that you can still pick up color. So then I'm just going to mix this in with that same color Thrill, which I took in the outer V. It's like a 
deep, dark, kind of brownish green. It's so pretty. And I could have made my life easier and went in with eyeliner, but I like to do things the hard way. <laughs> so now I am going to take a brown eyeliner, some mascara, which you guys know those are not new product. And then I'm going to give myself a spray before I do my mascara. You guys, the mist on this thing. Oh, for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with this highlighter in the shade Liche, Liche, whichever. And I'm going to add that to my inner corner. Just so you guys can see, it's super pretty without the swatch of green. I'm super messy. <laughs> All right, I will be right back and we will discuss everything because I'm sure this video has been super duper long. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is the last and final look. Now, I will say that I did have a little bit more trouble with this set of colors, um, and it's more so my fault, like user error, me using the wrong types of brushes, not taking the time to cut my crease, and, um, but I will say personally that I think this palette is gonna be more for somebody who's a little bit more experienced with different kinds of formulas and what I mean by that is if you're a beginner you might find it a little frustrating working with some of these cream shades I know my palette looks like a hurricane hit it but that just means I dipped in and had fun today <laughs> so like these cream shades right here they do take a little bit of getting used to to work with they're just a different type of formula and if you've never worked with them before you might find that a little aggravating and you know it might kind of turn you off to Natasha Den known as formula or even this palette or palettes like it um, I would say that even beginners could learn to use this I really feel like it's all about the right tools that you use personally as many years as I've been doing makeup and as much as I know like I am still getting it down to using the right brushes for the right formulas at times so that's why I say it's user error but I do think it's a gorgeous palette um, do you need it in your collection if you like the color story, then absolutely. If you already have most of these colors, then no, I don't think so. Or if you're just, you know, like I said, you're somebody that, you know, you can't take a palette and do this and say, oh, I could get a look out of that. Or this intimidates you because you're not seeing it as quads or uh, just a single palette like that. Or, you know, covering this up and seeing a single palette like that. You know, buy yourself things that are appealing to you. Don't buy things that are popular on the internet because, you know, we make you feel like you need them. You want to buy stuff that you're going to actually use. It's only a $22 palette, but that's $22 you could have spent on something that you really, really, truly love. So personally, I do want to play with this a little bit more before I give you like a final verdict. I do, again, think it's a gorgeous palette. It did wear well throughout the day. Now, given it wasn't super duper hot here, it was like in the low 80s. Um... I sweat you guys know that so I thought like I said it wore really pretty and I'm glad that I have it in my collection um, that's really all I have to say about the palette right now if you guys want to chit chat below I'm always open to conversation now I want to talk to you guys about the foundation I know that it's a pain in the butt ordering from overseas but you guys know that I do that quite a bit and it really doesn't take that much longer to get your products and um, it's super super affordable I'm gonna link the BYS website down below because I'm telling you guys once you get on the website you're gonna go crazy it's almost it's almost in that same category with if you have ever shopped on always me which is another website I'll link a video up here so you can check it out so you can see what I'm talking about I think this foundation was only like four or five dollars super pretty it's nice and long wearing it gives you a beautiful glow without being overly dewy you know giving you that greasy look um, if you're combo skin like myself I would just say matte primer in the t-zone whatever kind of primer on the outer and you're good to rock and roll with this they do have a shade range that's kind of meh so for my darker skin girls unfortunately I don't feel like their shades go deep enough um, I do feel like the company has expanded over time though into where they're starting to incorporate darker shades so I say definitely keep checking the website they're doing a lot better but great great formula 
with the Zoeva powder. It's a little pricey, but not super pricey like MAC pricey. I think this is really good if you are in the market for a new setting powder. Am I telling you you need to go out and buy it? Absolutely not. I feel like there's so many great affordable options at the drugstore. Why spend the extra money? I do this for you guys and because well I want stuff sometimes. So that's why I picked this one up. It's really really nice though. It really does give you a skin like effect which I know sounds really weird for a powder but I promise you it's true. Then moving on to these little guys right here. I think these are absolutely a great buy for $3 a piece. I don't think you need all of them unless you're trying to, you know, kind of up your blush game and you're looking for a variety of shades. Maybe even upping your highlighter game because you're getting a blush and a highlighter. And you don't need much product. They're really very pigmented as you guys can see here. Um, but for three bucks, you're getting a blush and a highlighter. Now there are eight of these, as I said before in the video, I only picked up seven. I picked up the one bronzer that's available and then six of the blushes. The other one was like a hot pink and I just, not for me. <laughs> then the last and final product is this High Beauty Under Eye Brightening Concealer. I wish the formula was just a tad thicker, but <laughs> that's what she said. No, seriously though, it does do a really good job of hiding under eye circles. They do have only two shades of this available. So I would say the lighter shade is for fair to light medium skin tones, and this is gonna be for medium to tan skin tones. I think for a deeper skin tone, I would go with a more deep orange peach shade. This to me is too light, but it does do a nice job on medium to tan. Now, I said last and final product. So this one is really, really nice. I think that this would be a nice kind of refresher spray if you want to add it to your collection. And I want to say these were $5, but girl, don't get me lying. <laughs> but I don't think that these do a good job of making your makeup last longer. So get yourself a traditional shredding spray. If you guys want recommendations, y'all know I love to chat in the comments. And I have plenty of recommendations for you. My favorite one of all time is the Milani Make It Last. And they do have the jumbo size. So you could pay four more dollars and get this. This is going to make your makeup last through everything. This is more so just kind of a refresher spray. If you're having hot flashes or it's hot, you just kind of want to, you know, cool down a little bit. That's all this is for. It will take down the powder look, but again, it's not gonna do anything for the longevity. So if you're not looking to incorporate it into your skincare, I'd say this could be a pass. All right, you guys, I think that is it for today's video. I'm sorry my energy went from here to kind of here, but I'm so, so sleepy. I will see you guys in the next video. I want to thank you as always for taking time out of your busy day to come hang out with me. It means the world to me. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really does help me out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Bye.